a number of people who've experienced issues with quad-core rendering in KDN Live using the MLT or MELT framework. Now, I've noticed that KDN Live does do quad-core rendering when you're not doing any compositing. But when you're doing compositing, there's only one core that is being used. Well, I figured out a workaround, and I'm going to share my experience with you today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Let's begin. Now, I have a project open here on my desktop, and this has some compositing set up on here. Now, I'm going to use my usual default setting for rendering this file. Now, unfortunately, on my screen, I really can't show you that only one core is operating because I have screen capture going on, and you can see that I have four processors running right now. So you're going to have to take my word for this, folks. But let's go ahead and do a test render. I'm going to uh, press my render button here. I'm going to select NTSC uh, at uh, 720. And I'm going to select four encoder threads. Let's go ahead and uh, name this uh, 1.m2t. And uh, I'm going to pause the video while this is encoding so that uh, we can get an amount of time that this is going to take. Now, I know this is only going to work on one process, so this may take a while. And a while it did take. This was a 10-second clip that I uh, just did, and it took 6 minutes 32 seconds to render. No, actually, I recorded the full project. So 29 seconds of video uh, on a single core rendered out at 6 minutes, 32 seconds. Okay, fine and dandy. Let's have a look and see what the output was like. Okay, picture quality is good. I like what I'm seeing here. I'm pleased with that. So let's go ahead and close this now. And now let's try and tell the Melt framework to use more threads. So to do this, you go into settings here, you go into configure Kadian Live in environment, you can set the processing threads up to three maximum. That's the most it will allow you, and it says even here that greater than one is experimental. So we're going to go ahead and press apply, press OK, and now let's go ahead and render this thing this time and see how long it takes. So we're going to go ahead and uh, select to render the project. Now I'm going to check uh, number two, or name this number two. I'm going to render the full project, and I should have selected render uh, selected zone. But hey, this is probably a little bit better for uh, for uh, this anyway. So let's go ahead and uh, now render that. Press to render that to file. Wow, big difference. Two minutes and 55 seconds by increasing the number of threads. But let's have a look and see what that output is this time. Okay, surprisingly, this turned out pretty good. Now, in prior tests, I've noticed that there was a green halo with the compositing, but I'm not seeing that this time around. Let's have a look at my settings. I wonder if it remembered to do two passes on this. Okay. I only did this in one pass, but I found that if you actually select two passes and then render the file, so let's do um, three this time, we'll have a better quality. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, now with two pass rendering, we did save a little bit of time where the original was 6 minutes 32 seconds. And uh, our third output is 5 minutes 47 seconds. Uh, let's have a look at the quality on this and see how it appears. Nice and sharp. I really like how this appears on the screen. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close this now. And I want to take this a step further. So let's go ahead and close this. I'm going to uh, maybe rescale the avatar on the screen. So I've got a setting here where I'm going to make that visible. And now I've got 
uh, Spatry in Avatar mode here. And, you know, let's just assume that this is going to be like something where, you know, I'm doing a presentation and this would be the backdrop. And so let's go ahead and render this out. But this time, under Render Project, I'm going to just tell it to do just 10 seconds to speed this up a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to uncheck the two pass to see what happens here. Now remember, we still have this set up for uh, Melt using multiple threads. So let's see what kind of output this gives us. Okay, 10 seconds of video rendered at um, with a single pass at 1 minute 2 seconds. Let's have a look at this output now. And remember, we didn't do a two pass on this one here. Okay, cool. It looks like it's working fine. Before, I ran into an issue where there was a halo even with the video scaled down. So, um, so this is something that you know that you can try. Uh, let's see what it will do with two passes. Now, if you're noticing artifacts, I noticed that running the two pass, though, really does the trick. So let's go ahead and render this project the select zone only, and we're going to do it in two passes to see what kind of time we get. My final rendering here was at 2 minutes 6 seconds with two passes. And let's have a look at this output here. Awesome video quality. Looks fabulous. One thing I do like, the two pass does make the video look a lot sharper and crisper, which is very important, especially if you're trying to do video in high definition. Now, some points I'd like to bring up. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to duplicate the problems that I had in the past for you guys. Uh, but the thing is, prior to recording this exercise, I rebooted my computer. So maybe I had some background thing going on that was causing a problem. I don't know what the issue was. But it looks like I had good results in each one of these uh, case studies that I've done here today. But if you do find yourself getting artifacts in your video when you're using compositing, doing two passes will most likely get rid of those for you. At least that's what worked for me. If you thought this was useful or if you have any comments or suggestions regarding this to help out the community, put them in the space below. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.